Welcome everyone to Jen's Joyful Kitchen. Happy to see all of you today and I am going to share with you a really quick and easy way to make some healthy snacks for having your best summer ever. So I don't know about you but I'm kind of one of those people that likes to have a summer bucket list of things I like to do with my family and this is something that you can actually make with your family and help you get out the door to get to those summer bucket list ideas. So I've got a pre-made batch here, so I'm just gonna share that with you. This is our brand new snack bar maker and it comes with a lid here, so you just pop the lid on for storage. But what's great about this is that you can make your own homemade snack bars, granola bars, frozen yogurt bars, chocolate bars, no bake bars, whatever you want to do, you can bake in it. These are baked granola bars that I've made here. And you can store them in here if you want to, or you can pop them right out because you can see it's silicone and I can literally just pop that right out so you can see how that works. And I then can wrap them if I want to individually to pack if we're going somewhere, or if I want to store them in a different container, I can do that and make another batch of a different kind. So kind of a great way to have those healthy snacks. Some of us have to worry about food allergies or not wanting certain things in our food. So this is a great way to be able to control those ingredients. And then also just kind of that portable on the go healthy snack. If you're one of those people that when you're at the grocery store and you're looking at the different granola bars and you're wondering which one should I choose, I don't know what it tastes like, um, or I'm looking at different ingredients, I'm not sure I want those in my um, in my granola bars, this is where you have the power to change that. You can make your own granola bars and it literally only takes five minutes. And then, like these are baked, so I just popped them in the oven for about 10 minutes, but it might range depending on your oven, um, up to 14 minutes or so. You take them out, you let them sit on a cooling rack for five minutes, and then you pop them in the freezer for 15 minutes and that just solidifies everything. Put the lid on when you do that, but you bake with the lid off. So. I am really loving this new snack bar maker because it's so versatile and so much fun. So here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to share with you how you can make homemade baked granola bars and how fast, the, how fast this can actually go. So I'm going to start with my bowl here and I am going to add one and a half cups of, oops, I'm using that one, I guess. Um, and this is where you can be creative too. So one and a half cups of oats and I'm using the old fashioned oats. You could use instant if you wanted to. I like the old fashioned a little bit more for granola bars because it offers that extra crunchy texture. So we've got that. To that, we're gonna add three tablespoons of brown sugar. You wanna kinda pack it into there so that it gets nice, a nice little tablespoon. So three tablespoons of brown sugar. And this is like a basic recipe you could follow. Then you can just choose to add different ingredients to make it a little bit more versatile or try different flavors. So you've got that. The other thing we need to add is a half a teaspoon of baking soda. So that's gonna help with the baking process. Now, if you were gonna make unbaked uh, granola bars, you actually don't need the baking soda at all. So we've got that, those dry ingredients. I'm gonna just mix these together so the baking soda gets dispersed and the, the brown sugar gets dispersed as well because you want that to be everywhere and not kind of biting into a chunk of or a big heaping pile of, of baking soda. So what's on your summer bucket list? Tell me what's on your summer bucket list. A um, few things that I want to do, I want to do some more camping with my family, fishing, we like to fish. Um, also I want to... Uh, maybe just have like a fun, there's some places around where we live that you can go and have a farm pizza. Trying to investigate those a little bit. I think that would be fun to do for the summer. All kinds of different things. Um, so what's on your bucket list? Share with, share with all of us because it's always fun to get ideas and I think that that can really help us streamline what we want to do this summer. You don't have to have a lot to do, but maybe there are a few things you want to do. And when you have that list, you can just go through it and see what you can do in the next few weeks, in the next 10 to 14 weeks, depending on how long your summer is. All right, so we've got our dry ingredients mixed up. To that, we're going to add some 
wet ingredients. So two tablespoons of either melted butter or oil, whichever you prefer. So I melted some butter here and I'm just gonna pour that in. And then we've got a quarter cup of honey. So this is our measure all cup and this is one reason I love it is that I can measure honey, mayonnaise, sour cream, peanut butter, all those different types of things. And I don't have to try and like scrape out after I'm um, ready to measure or pour it out. So I'm pouring it in, I slide or slide it off, and then I just scrape and then it's all pre-measured and done. You can also use the opposite side for liquids too. All right, so I'm gonna mix this in. It's already looking very tasty. The next step is just your mix-ins, your flavor enhancers, your creative side can come to life here so you can add whatever you like. So what I've got, and you wanna do a cup total to this, to, this, to this recipe. So what I've got in here is dried cranberries, chocolate chips, gotta have some chocolate chips, right? Um, my kids are requesting some M&Ms, little mini ones, I haven't done those yet, but I will. I think that would be a fun one with peanut butter, so kind of like a monster cookie version of a granola bar. And the other thing I'm gonna add to make this a full cup is some walnuts. And I like to chop them up really fine because they mix in really well. And this is the food chopper that I just used for that. So I'm just gonna add this to the top so you can see that I've got a full cup of different flavor enhancers here. So I've got chocolate chips, cranberries, and then my walnuts. So I'm gonna pour that in. So we've got our, our total mixture going here. So I'm just stirring this together. And you could, <laughs> this is just really, this is good too. So like if you wanted to do granola, just regular granola, not a granola bar, you could use this same recipe. I would leave the chocolate out of it because you would bake this off on just a sheet pan. And you could use our nonstick sheet pans for that because they don't stick at all. So you would leave the chocolate out, maybe put something else in because otherwise your chocolate becomes a gooey mess um, over or while it's baking for a little bit to toast up everything. All right, so I've got that. But I wanna share with you some other ideas that you could use that are healthy as well. So another thing you could use is some chia seeds. So these would add some fiber and some protein and they give, the, they give just a little crunch, but um, they kind of look like poppy seeds, but they're great for adding some extra boost of nutrition. Of course, you could do other dried fruits. So I've got some raisins here. You could do dried blueberries, dried mango pieces, uh, all kinds of different things that you could do. You could also do some peanut butter in there with um, like some of the liquid part of the ingredients. So you could just add in like maybe a couple tablespoons of that if you wanna give a hint of peanut butter as well. But there are so many different options. Chopped pretzels, coconut that you've pre-toasted, um, peanuts, all kinds of different things, whatever you wanna add. So we've got this mixed up and this is where it really ends because all you have to do is take a large scoop, which is the cookie scoop. And that's in my dishwasher right now because I used it earlier. And then you just scoop into each um, little spot here. You can see I have some missing. And then it comes with this little nylon serving spatula, which is actually the same exact size as one of these openings. So once you get your, your granola in there, you're just pushing it down and flattening it out. Pop it in the oven at 350 for about 10, 12, 14 minutes, depending on your oven. You're just looking for it to turn a little bit of light golden brown. You don't want it burnt. And then you let it, you take it out. You don't have to cook it on anything. You literally can just put it in the oven right on this silicone um, tray here. And then you pop it out of the oven, five minutes on a cooling rack, 15 minutes in the freezer. Now, with a really warm day, you, want to, you may want to keep it in the fridge or the freezer because if your house is really warm, the granola bars will kind of <laughs> come apart a little bit. But these just pop right out and let me show you what they look like. And they are so good. My family was like, wow, these are awesome because I have a hard time finding granola bars that I actually really like you know, to purchase. So we've got a nice little granola bar there that I can wrap up or not wrap up and just eat for a quick on the go part of our breakfast with some fruit and yogurt. Um, it could be also a great snack in the afternoon after maybe you've had some activity. 
um, all kinds of different places that you could use these snack bars. So versatile, flexible, make your summer what you want it to be, but have the food to fuel your best summer ever. I hope you've enjoyed watching how to make these homemade baked granola bars. I will be posting the recipe. I want you to share this video with your friends that might enjoy learning how to make it. And if you're interested in purchasing any of those products that I shared with you today, including the snack bar maker, I will be posting a link to that in the comments as well. So thanks so much for watching. I hope you have a great day. It's June 7th and it's the start of a great summer. Enjoy the day. Bye-bye.